Hello everyone, Debarkis here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome once again to a, uh, another video on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, um, this is going to be a short video. It's not going to be a flight one. We're not going to be flying. But uh, I'm going to be explaining or uh, demonstrating how to control the displays on the Cessna Citation Longitude with the Garmin Touch Controllers because I have noticed that a lot of people are asking questions on how to manipulate them using the GTCs. They're kind of confused on how to use these. Uh, these. So let's head inside the cockpit and uh, show how to do this. Alright, so the, cock the, the displays are configured in their in their simplest configuration right now. The outboard GTCs are controlling the PFDs. So this left outboard is controlling the left PFD and the right outboard is controlling the right PFD. The MFD is being controlled by either the left or the right center GTC. Now in this situation it's being controlled by this. Alright, but when we split the MFDs now you have either GTC controlling uh, either pane. This one is controlling this this one is controlling this. Okay, depending on when you split on the situation, it's not always going to be this way. This could be controlling this. This could be controlling this. But right now, you can, the left is controlling the left pane and the right is controlling the right pane. Okay, and everything is good. The, the, the outboard ones are still controlling the PFDs. All right. But when you do another split from a PFD, for instance, now you have three controllable panes, but you have two GTCs. So it becomes complicated. And if we even split it further, we split the right um, MF, the right PFD. Now you are presented with uh, four controllable panes but only two GTCs so how do we control the specific pane that we need to control with the GTC we want to control it with here are some things to know to note you can see that these two GTCs have uh, different colors in the in the in the top bar actually even in the outline they are color coded this one is cyan colored and this one is purple colored i know it's not exactly purple it's lilac but i'm going to refer to it as purple all right but these ones are black this and this okay now the black panes do not have any GTC assigned to them so they are not being controlled by any GTC on the other hand the color coded panes are being controlled by corresponding color coded GTC you can see the cyan color here is also here on the pane section so that's how you know that this pane is controlling this that this GTC is controlling this pane and if you look at this one you can see that it's purple so that means that this GTC is controlling the purple pane okay but you can also move them around you can also move you can also reassign the control as as you deem fit for instance 
if you wanted to use the GT the left GTC to control this pane, you have to move this joystick. Now a lot of people don't know that this is also a joystick, even though it's you, you can scroll it to zoom in and out the map. You can also and and can also push it for to pan. You can also drag it left, right, up and down, but we're only dealing with the left and right. Okay, so if I drag it to the left, it switches its control to the next available pane on the left. Now that pane has to be available, meaning it has to be black. You can only switch between black panes. You cannot switch you cannot switch um, the control of this GTC to this pane because it's already being controlled by a GTC. But if it's available, for instance, if I move it this way and it's available, now you can use the left GTC to control it. You can move it once. And if you move it again, it goes to the next pane. So you can move it along the available panes. Okay. Okay, so either GTC can control any available pane. Like that one, the right GTC is controlling the right pane beside the MF, the, the PF, the right PFD. I can move it left and it controls the center right pane. I can also move it again and it will control. Um, the left right pane and if this were available I could also use it to control it for instance let's move this uh, let's move this to over here now you can see that this is now available and I can move this over there and use this right GTC to control it now I don't know why you would want to do that but just in case you did want to do that it's available now note that no matter how you split you split these screens the outboard GTCs maintain their exclusive control on the PFDs okay they don't move okay so that's how you control these things. And whichever one of them you're controlling, you can put whatever you want on them. You can see how that's moving because that's the G that's the pain we're controlling. Excuse me. All right. So normally, normally what you would have in configuration is um, you would have um, you would want you know the left GTC to control left panes. I mean that's that that would uh, be more reasonable and the purple GTC, the right GTC to control the right panes. But just so you know, you're not limit, you're not bound by that. You can do whatever you want. Okay. So that's how you do it. All right. But remember, we were doing this in the lock mode. Now let's go to the legacy mode and I'll show you how to do it. And uh, I'll also show how I get to the legacy, to the mouse interaction option, because some people also don't know that. So we'll go to accessibility, and you see the cockpit interaction system. You can see that it's on lock. You can switch it to legacy. All right, let's head back in. Now that it's on legacy mode, you can no longer click and drag. You can just hover the mouse pointer until it changes to an arrow in one direction or in the direction you want to go. 
for in this situation, we want to go right. So if you click once, it's going to move one pane. If you click again, it's going to move to the next available pane. All right. Same thing with that one. Move once, it will go to the next pane that is available. You move again, it will go to the next pane that is available. So that's how you move it with uh, the legacy interaction mode. All right. So that's it. Uh, no need to make the video unnecessarily long. So like I said, you know, in summary, these two GTCs can control whatever pane is available. It's your choice. Like this is available. This GTC can control it. This GTC can control it, whatever you choose. So that's it. Um, I hope you, I hope I've been able to explain these things and uh, feel free to ask questions if you still have any um, any unresolved questions that you might have feel free to ask them in the comment section and i'll answer them thank you for watching guys uh like the video and subscribe to my channel it's a growing channel and this helps me grow i hope you enjoyed it talk to you guys again in the next video this is the barkis signing off See y'all.